I talked about this in the past. I've looked at these guys' products in the past. I talked about this product down on the Lou Later show. There's been this movement towards these more advanced noise canceling headphones that free you up to hear your surroundings because people, you can't be cut off. We have headphones on more frequently in public places. This is kind of the original version of that. Now it's not a typical traditional headphone. This uses bone conduction and this company Aftershocks, they've been doing it for a while now. They decided to use Jack on the front cover here. Also very athletic himself. The skin to clothing ratio of this image. Like, how did they get this? What is this, a shoulder? You can email, uh, what is it, jack at unboxtherapy.com for these types of engagements. Uh, those are the Aeropex. That's what they're calling their latest version. From what I have heard, these are supposedly better than the previous ones. Open ear design bone conduction technology, IP67 waterproof, eight hours music plus calls, moisture detection alert, and titanium fit. How can titanium be a fit? Titanium fit. That's marketing lingo. They're not giving up on the bone conduction idea. If they wanna make some improvements, put out a new product, so be it, why not? So it's the Aeropex. Can we get a price update right now? 160 bucks, so we're not cheap anymore. I mean, these things have to sound pretty good at 169, when for most people, it's not gonna replace your headphones. It's gonna be something you own in association with your headphone. Okay, whoa, or these, or there's Jack again. Is that you? I think that's you again. You must have been in San Francisco or something because it looked like a big hill there. Do I have to clear up that that's not actually you? Is this is this a legal liability or something? No, I don't. Okay, perfect. Be open. You see, they want the ears to be open. Look at these people. You can see their ears. The ears are open. That's the benefit. Okay, very simple packaging. We have the product over here. It's very Apple-esque, actually, dare I say. Ooh, they're sleeker. Whoa, those are tiny. This is all soft touch the whole way around, and they are tiny. Look at this. Ooh, we have a nice little carrying case. It's also the same soft touch material. Very, so smooth. Oh, look at that magnetic. They're doing things at the company. They're not sitting around accessories galore over here. Whoa, the liquid detection. If there is sweat or other liquid residue in the charging interface, the device light will flash blue and red. The core of the headphones will also vibrate and emit a beep, beep. No, not a beep, beep, a beep, beep. I didn't know there was such a thing as a beep. Dry the liquid and then keep charging. Okay, so it's got a little warning on there. They included earplugs. Cable number one is your charge cable. It is a proprietary connector. It's kind of hard for it not to be on a product like this. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, so it fits in right above the charge connector. That's where you got your power switch and your volume up and down. Oh, they just give you two. Jack, look at that. What did you see? I mean, how nice is that? It's a little gift where you, where you least expect it. Let's go ahead and give these a test. Oh my God. They are super lightweight. So let's see. Welcome to Aftershocks. Okay, so we have power. I mean, I assume it goes into pairing immediately. It should. Yep, there we go. Okay, Aeropex by Aftershocks. Play a couple of tunes, why don't we? 80s rock ballads. Foreigner, I wanna know what love is, right? That's maximum volume now. How's it bleed right now? Very little sound bleed, wow. That's the bone conduction, it's loud for me right now. It's been a heartache and pain. Get that max, you get that, that, that high volume on there. It's a little crunchy still, less so than the previous version, I should say. Let me just get to the chorus real quick, all right? And I want you to show me. That's a karaoke banger right there, by the way. Will he do? Couple of beers, guy like you? Yeah! So it's breaking up a little bit at the top and do I, would I listen that loud? Probably not. You get in this weird zone of like, you can hear your surroundings. So you're kind of like, uh, should I blast it? I mean, I'm gonna go down a few notches and then now the crunchiness is gone and it's a comfortable listening environment, but you can see I can still converse. I could talk to Jack. Okay. Test one, two, like I can hear him. Now it does feel like the low end is missing a little bit. I think where the previous version, heavier duty, like the old ones made up for it through through sheer vibration to give you the, the impression that the low end was there. These ones don't really try as much, so you get a cleaner signal, but at the expense potentially of some thump. 
So I'm gonna go and play something a bit heavier here. Okay, this is totally different, totally different experience. Little more bleat, it's loud, it's loud for me. Okay, so don't think you're getting a headphone experience. It's not a competition. If this was the sound quality I was getting out of something that actually went in my ear or around my ear, it will be unacceptable to be comparative to what I've tried out. To me, where I think it shines the most is in the category of like podcasts, in the category of audiobooks. This thing is kind of that hybrid effect of like, you still get to interact with your audio content without the commitment level that any headphone or earphone is gonna give. The trouble is in the meantime that they've been working on improving their product, other products have emerged, earbuds and so forth, like the recent Sony earbuds that I featured that I liked a lot, that use microphones to pass audio through to your ear canal while you're listening to music or another audio source. Even with those products, you still feel there's an augmentation that's happening. So you can hear your surroundings, but you don't feel in them. If being aware of your surroundings is paramount, if you already have another pair of headphones for those types of listening sessions, and you want something that's primarily out and about, then it's tough to beat these ones. So with the people jogging on the street, the cyclists, you gotta hear guys, you're out there, there's the vehicles, distractions, the intersections, there's maniacs out there. You gotta be aware, this is the best way to listen to something and be aware.